Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a pure pleasure. A Patek Philippe Perpetual Calendar Retrograde Officer's Watch with a Hunter case back would be special enough, but when you get it fully gun engraved by the factory, we're talking next level. This is the Patek Philippe 5160-500G-001. It is the 5159, which was released in 2007, albeit fully engraved, and I do mean fully engraved. White gold and 38 millimeters on my wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch has the presence of a much larger timepiece. Part of that's the engraving, and part of it is the strong officer style lugs that we'll discuss in a moment. Now the watch is not huge, though it has the presence of an enormous timepiece, and I would have guessed it at least two millimeters larger than its rated size. 12 millimeters thick, so even with the Perpetual calendar, automatic winding, and the Hunter case back. It is a thin timepiece, easy to fit under a cuff. From lug to lug, 46.6 millimeters. So while the lugs are strong, they are not immense. And then a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs, which means the watch can take a bevy of aftermarket and OEM straps. Now the strap that's fitted is a high grade piece, but it is slender. And as you can see, it's graceful, like the watch itself. Compact, large rectangular scale alligator leather, dark brown, a monotone stitch and a folded edge. Now right here we have bars that are fixed by screws, so you don't have the usual Patek Philippe spring bar release system on the bottom, but you have a greater degree of security. And look, the artisans have engraved even the retaining screws, secure and officer style. On the underside, conventional calfskin, you can see this is a new Patek Philippe factory strap. They have also engraved the buckle itself. As you can see, the white gold deploying clasp featuring the image of the Patek Philippe Calatrava cross is solid instead of the usual wire filigree style. And then internally, all of high polish, a white gold deploying clasp to match the watch with engravings to match the watch. The case band, well, it's characteristic of the officer style watch. And let's chart some of the features. These are inspired by trench watches which were converted from pocket watches during World War I for use on the wrist where they would be more accessible and practical. So oftentimes you had the rounded traditional form of a pocket watch with straight welded lugs fixed directly to the case by means of a weld and then bars fixing the strap to the lugs by means of a screw-based system. And so we have that along with the architecture of the hunter-style case back that was often included on pocket watches, and that is the last part of the officer's watch format. You can see that the dial also features hands as well as numerals that are of a format evocative of old pocket watches and those first trench wrist watches. But the case, oh my goodness, the case, banknote scrolling, all of it freehand engraved. This is not created by molding or stamping. All of this is rendered by an artisan using gravers, hammers, small chisels, and finishing tools. And it is incredible such that no two are exactly alike. You can see the depth and the texture and the form of the scrolling very Carrying all around the watch to create different shading, different details, and the detail continues right down to the screws on the case blank and the crown itself. Now, rolling over to the bezel side, you can see there is banknote scrolling on the bezel, and the same has been rendered on the dial. So we have a dial using the same engraving at center to match the case, and then we have a retrograde date. We have the day, the leap year phase, and the month in apertures. We have a moon phase with crescent style moon and a 122 year interval of adjustment, a perpetual calendar that is able to deal with leap years and irregular length months all the way out to the year 2100, and of course we have blackened that is oxidized black and breguet style applique white gold numerals and white gold hands. You can see that they are pear style hands at center. And the watch itself, a wonderful medley of colors. We have a red varnished indicator for the date. We have blue numerals outboard of the hours. And then we have a lovely midnight blue cosmos behind the stars and the moon. Turn it all over, things get even more exciting underneath the case back. By the way, you can see the image of the old time Patek Philippe logo blazing on the case back with more banknote scrolling. And you can even see the integration of the hinge into a plinth below the crown is elegant and seamless. The movement is based on the Patek Philippe 324 automatic. So 
automatic winding 28,800 vibrations per hour, 35 to 45 hour power reserve. It features a free sprung balance adjusted in an exceptional and chronometer busting six positions with a Patek Philippe Spiromax silicon hairspring. So Spiromax, an invention by Patek today, Gyromax, the free sprung architecture, an invention of roughly 1950s, the middle of the 20th century. You can see that there is also engraving ringing the sapphire display case back and the movement featuring ceramic rotor bearings and unidirectional winding, the two features combining for exceptionally efficient winding of the watch as well as the bearings, sealed for life, never requiring service. Now the movement is exceptional with 30 joules, the automatic winding, the retrograde perpetual calendar, and of course immaculate finishing. You can see the mirrored englage on the edge of the bridges. You can see there are Cote de Genève circular on the rotor and linear on the bridges. There is engine turn perlage on the base plate and then we have black polished screws with chamfered slots and circumference as well as a micro perlage engine turning on the center of the rotor. See it and make it yours on the watch box.